What's up, Digidestins? Did you hear the bell? That means it's another day in the market watch. We got so much to cover. There's a lot of shenanigans going on, and it's good to talk about it. We are also so close to seeing tomorrow's. We finally get the announcement reveal for the whatever thing back in October was. So we're going to finally get some information about that tomorrow. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and talk about it. Wee. So let's talk about it. Takuya it, from the D Scanner Alternate Art Next Adventure is getting bought. People are starting to buy it slowly. Uh, we got some people bought it on 12 5, 13 21. This might be just people getting holiday gifts and they just want to spend some money. Especially this time of year, people are trying to burn their bonuses. Well, this is not a terrible card to pick up, right? It's one of the cards that you need to max rarity your deck because this is classified max rarity. Let's see if Europe hasn't sold anything, but oh my goodness. Uh, it looks like four. Nope, this, these are the Japanese. So 170 euros, 200 euros. Yeah, you're not moving these. Heavy Leo Mom from Animal Coliseum EX05. Uh, $9 a pop. Do not invest into that. I wouldn't even pay this $7 a price. Uh, not worth it. Not really. I think just wait on it. Metal Edamon Animal Crossing EX05. Someone bought a playset for $5 a piece. I wouldn't invest into that. This thing's going to be a dollar card. Uh, Bang Long Big Dong Animal Crossing EX05. Somebody bought four copies for $30 a piece. Um, that's not actually bad. It's probably going to be one of the more expensive because it is a four of secret. Um, huge difference is it's also one of the more competitive decks out of the gate. So Fang Long Big Dong is going to really be something worthwhile. So I think $30 a piece is actually not a bad pickup price. Death Slinger from the 3v3. This card, well, we hopefully get more events coming forward. Right now, sitting 40s to 50 range pretty comfortably. Um, this card was a participation, but boy, oh boy, this card can get expensive fast once we get hopefully with more in-person regionals we'll get more in-person 3v3s with these awesome cards your upside holy cow do i just buy from you you guys have this at dirt cheap these are 10 euros a pop holy crap i would buy them at that at that price for a heartbeat black war graymon x antibody alternate art looking like 19 dollars and climbing it's been secretly climbing little by little just under the radar but it finally caught my eye so Kind of interesting to see he's already 20 bucks again. Your upside 13s to 15 range. Um, going went for a spike run back at 1203 and then started dipping down the rest of the month. Um, okay, this is just kind of interesting to me. If you need a play set of this thing, $14, 14 dollars, 14 euros and 75 cents for four copies. It's not terrible from one seller. Contorus Mod Alternate is jumping. Uh, this could be EX5 hype, uh, but I don't think that deck's going to do anything. Really don't suggest it. Don't recommend it. But if this is just because Royal Knights are doing things, this could just be Royal Knights are doing shenanigans. But I don't think this should be hype. That deck is not going to do anything special. Europe side looking like 16s to 17s to 18s. So it's kind of just jumping up and down a little bit. Um, I'm not surprised there. I don't think it's worth that much, though. Let's see. Commander Mom from Blast Days. $5 is going down a little bit. Cooling off a little bit, but it's still holding strong in the $6, $6 range, actually, with the shippings and stuff like that. So it's up to you how you want to handle that. Uh, Commander Mom, 8 euros, 9 euros. Holy cow, you guys are more expensive than us. Wow. Uh, deck is good. Deck is good. Deck's gonna be good. It's gonna stay good. <laughs> Lugamon, Blast Ace, Light Play Foils holding at $6, and then Near Mints are in the sixes as well. Plenty of stock in the six range. Uh, deck is gonna be one of the good purple decks, so doggo is doggo. Europe side looking like eights to nines. Crazy jumping up. Some hype probably because they they're doing the ban list, so they know that they're gonna just get ahead of this curve. Probably that's the only reason. Galamon versus Royal Knights. Uh, only five listings left in the 20 
uh, only two listings, base one listing. Sorry, not two. I'm noticing the five dollar shipping here. Um, one listing at basically 22, and then this is all 27 and above. So I'm not surprised there. This card is really good. Um, splashable almost in any deck you want to play that uses the graveyard whew, to its fullest. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Europe side looking like oh. Excuse me. 24s, 25s range kind of there. Kind of jumps up to 28 pretty quickly without any hesitance. And it's people are buying. Somebody were buying in the 32s. Crazy. Wow. Uh, someone that probably needed multiple copies. But Galatmon's Galatmon. Imperial Jamon Fire Mode Alternate Art is still climbing, boys and girls. No surprise here. If you missed out on this card, I feel bad for you because you wanted to play this deck. Uh... 20s to 28s, no surprise here. Uh, looking like 15s to 18s, though, in the Europe side, which isn't terrible, to 23s. Okay. Okay, I see you, boo. Uh, Lucimon Chaos Mode, alternate art, same thing, just gone. We're, we're at eight listings left, and there's only, you know, for a near mint, one near mint at 30, and then the rest is 60, 70. The rest are moderately played. Oh, no. Don't invest into that range. I'm sorry, guys. Do not invest into that. Your upside. 25 range goes to 29 range for that pretty quickly. I mean, it skips 27 and then jumps to 28s, 30s. Wow. For you guys. You're kind of in the same boat. You guys are being bought quickly. But you guys have a lot more listings now. Burning Greymon Next Adventure pre-release card. Uh, going down a little bit, which is good to see. Good to see. You know, but only four listings. Not what we want to see. So, seven, you know, 16, 14, you know, goes to 17, 18s pretty quickly. Crazy. No, Not many listings. If you have this, make some profit. Then we have Europe side looking like sevens to tens. You, not many listings either. Crazy. So, definitely Red Hybrid doing Red Hybrid shenanigans. Burning Greymon Across Time pre-release card. $14 and shooting up, boys and girls. Only three less things left. We got four copy, four copy, one copy. Crazy in the 14s to 6, 17s to basically 19s. Sorry, guys. Europe side. You guys have a good and made. If you want to build that deck with Uka, go for it, champ. Uh, looking like 15... Fives, fives, five euro, five euros, which isn't terrible, actually. Pretty solid pricing. A Goonie Mount across time pre release card. Uh, sh I'm just holding strong. Uh, 12s, 13s, 10s. Yeah, boys. Uh, pre release card time. Card's gonna go up. Your upside looking like two cents, two cents, two cents. Oh, excuse me. I wanted the Aguni. Sorry, that's the regular one. That is not the one we wanted to talk about today. Where is the Aguni that I want to talk about, you jerks? So you're upside three euros, three euros, four euros. Reason for this is because of this card. You basically get this as in your champion promo packs. You know, six dollars is six euros, six to seven euros is not a bad price. I think this is pretty solid. So if you guys need that, pick that up. Terrymon New Awakening pre-release card. Uh, no reason for it to be bought out. The card is not played. I mean, yeah, it's cool. You may reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one Gargo or wrap it in its name among them to your hand. Place the reigning cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. I don't see the value in that. Then we have eight eighty cents, uh, one euro for the pre-release. You guys have it a lot cheaper than us. And that's kind of all in all for our market watch. I know this is a relatively short one and I went through a lot, but I feel like this one is just with the holidays around the corner. I can't, I need to focus on family, getting the shopping done and everything like that. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.